Hey guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and today I'm going to show you how to take in user input uh, through the keyboard and how to prompt them for things. Uh, so We're going to use a class called Scanner and to initialize a class or instantiate a class we're going to uh, call the class um, give it a variable name we'll just say input right here equals new scanner and in the um, parameters it takes in the input stream and what the scanner does is it scans through the input stream and it's a very useful device it, it works for quite a few if you want to read through a file it's uh, got a lot of good methods for making that life a lot easier for you when you're reading through a file and also reading user input so if you know, remember system.out is an output stream because you're printing and then you print that to the screen so this is taking something in through an input stream and we're going to say system.in I don't have to put print line or anything just uh, close that off and we'll have to import that okay. So let's just uh, system dial dot print line. I actually print. We're just gonna say, "Hey, buddy, what's your name?" I can't type tonight. And that and. That's going to print to the screen that and pretend that somebody else is using it. So, what we're going to want to do is grab what is typed in after that. And so, let's say string name because he's going to type in his name equals input, which is the variable name for the scanner, dot next. I actually read next. Is it read next? No, dot next. So the next, uh, which is a string method. So what this is going to do is it's going to take in the scanner and scan the next string and put that into the variable name. And then right after that, we can system dial dot print line. Hello, and then concatenate that with the variable name. Let's we'll see what happens. So say, hey buddy, what's your name? And down here, you can type Mike, and it'll say, hello Mike. So that's how you take in uh, information from a user. Set up the scanner object, and to always set up objects, you type in the object um, type right here give it a variable name and you equals and you instantiate it by saying new scanner and then in the parameters uh, it's going to be system and dot in scanner can also read files and it would uh, be file types in here and right here you just prompt the user for a question or whatever you want them to say and we named right here we named a uh, declared string called name and we set uh, the scanner to scan it for the next string that's typed in and we put that into name and we print it out here so you can also do um, hey buddy what's your favorite number say number is next capital I into input dot oh I got a cap we got say that's an integer or in Show you it works. Nine. Cool, 
five nine two. So it it can take in quite a few different types of values, and this is uh, very important when you start writing programs that uh, somebody else is going to be using. So. Please join me on the next tutorial. I do not know what it's going to be on. Maybe a for loop. Um, please subscribe to my videos at uh, McProgramming. And visit my website, mcprogramming.org. And you all have a good night. And I will see you all soon.